Hello YouTubers, today we'll be creating this masterpiece, DIY mosaic mirror. You need your glue gun, your glue stick, and this is the portrait I decided to buy, 12 by 36. I have grout, none sending the grout in the color white, mixing bowl, mixing tool, spreading, utensil, and gloves. As you can see, I already got started, broke up the mirror and placed it down. I have to glue them down. Let me show you how did I do the mirror. So this is an old dressing mirror that I was about to throw away. I decided, you know what, I'm going to keep the mirror and do a mosaic. All I did was cover the mirror up, got your trusty hammer, and boop, boop, went to work. Yep, did it all. So after I collected all the pieces, I put them down like I want to in the design I want them in. And as you can see, this is a dry run. I started gluing them last night, so this half of the board is glued. And as you can see, I still have to glue down that piece and that half of the board. And I'm doing two for the price of one. This one has not been touched it's not glued down. So hey, let's get started. Well, I already started, so let's get started. Let's get finished. And as you can tell, I spray painted my edges. I want them a rustic gold color. As you can tell, that's the theme. That's the pop of color I'm going for. And I thought it would be cute. Okay, this is the wall I'm putting them on. I have one on this side and one on that side. It's pretty clock. I spray painted DIY. Yes. And as you can tell, my pillows, it's kind of a blush, copper, champagne theme I have going on. So, yeah, I have a big space, empty wall I need to fill up. And hey, why not do a mosaic mirror? So I'm about to get started with the glue. I just plugged it in, so I'm waiting on it to get hot. And I'll come back to you and show you how I glued it down. All right, let's get started.
Be careful not to burn yourself. Hot. Alright, so forth and so on. We're just going to glue down the rest of these pieces and I'll come back to you when I get ready to lay the grout. Alright, so I'm back and I'm about to start grouting. As you can see, I have the Poly Blend Grout in the color Snow White from Home Depot for, I think it was $19.99. And as you see, I put a little bit in here. About to mix it with my trusty water. You want a pancake. At least that's what I'm told. Pancake consistency. So yeah, let's get to mixing. And mixing too. Mix, mix, mix. Don't worry about it. If you put too much water, you can always go back and add some more. I think I may have added a little too much water. See, it's soupy. Oh, I forgot before I lay it down, I have to get a sponge and some water for the clean off method. I guess I'll get to that when I finish this. Alright, it's thickening up. It's getting there. I 
think I want to move the thicker in it. What do you think? This is my trusted little spatula that I'm used to spread it into the grooves and crevices. I don't know how good it's gonna work. I still think that may be a bit too liquidy. I'm gonna let it sit up and see if it's settled in gel a little bit. And I'll come back to you. Okay, I'm back. I added maybe a tablespoon more of the grout and this more of the consistency I want. Yes. A little bit thicker, better. Yes. So now I'm going to get some to cover up my nice countertop. I don't want to mess it up. Lord knows. I just had it done. So let me get some to cover this up and then we're going to get started laying it down. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. So I got, I have the grout mixed up like I want to. I have my trusted spatula to spread it. And I got these little sponge from the dollar store. They're just sponge for, you know, the wipe off method. Wipe it off, clean up. And I'm using one of the kids. Pail water clean water yes they gonna kill me when they realize I'm using it but honey child it'll be all right all right uh, let's go oh and I got my little drop cloth to protect the surface at least I think that's what it's for and I'm so messy they don't tell me So you just want to drag it across to make sure it gets in the hole. And all the little corners. See, honey, I need this with cloth. I'm so messy. Excuse me if you hear the kids. They upstairs getting ready for bath time. Yeah, I hope this works. This is my first time doing this. Shout out to the other YouTubers. They have some pretty artwork. One in particular who inspired me. Sharon, she's so fabulous. Yes, shout out to her. I follow her. Nice lady. Love her DIYs. I try to make sure not to get it off the edge. So I go back and clean it up. Make 
make sure all the little holes like I don't know if you can see this one maybe not okay just make sure all the little corners are filled in with gravel you don't want to leave no space and I know that just from tiling my backsplash so it ain't my first time working with grout it's my first time working with grout in a mirror and to be honest this still may be a little too loose yeah might be just a wee bit too loose Yeah, work with me with the focusing. Yes. Sister girl, I got used to all that. Kind of padded in them edges. When it get to the edge, try not to glue the mirror all the way to the edge. But I did, so I'm working with it. I'm trying to go in one direction. One up the board. Man, I can see some little holes, so I need to go back and fill those in. Try to keep the spatula flat as you dragging it up. Then I child so backwards. Just get it in the holes without moving the mirrors. All right. So I got most of it done. I'm lying. Got half of it done. So I'm going to go ahead and do all the rest of them. I'm going to go ahead and finish all this. And then when I'm done, I'll come back to you. I'm still working. This for dummy proof, but I ain't gonna lie, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing.
try your best not to disturb the mirror and the glue. So keep your spatula as flat as possible. And apply light pressure. Yeah, these edges, they're giving me the blues. Keep on doing this, finish this. I'll be back. All right, I'm finished laying the grout. I'm gonna let it sit so it can harden up a little bit. I went in and tried to find and cover up little cracks and crevices I saw. You don't want them in there. So I'm gonna let it sit for a couple minutes. I'm just testing the seat and then I'll come back and sponge off the top. And then I'm gonna let it sit for a cool 24 to 48 hours to make sure it's good, solid, and hard. And I'll show you the final piece when I'm done. That's all it is to it. My DIY mosaic mirror inspired by Sharon. She's so fabulous. I'll be back with the final look. Okay, here's the final project of the mosaic. Here's both of them. And I would say I messed up. It was an epic fail. On this one, I let the grout dry too long. And this haze is not coming off. I've tried everything from cord cutter, you name anything in the house I've tried. This one was a little bit better. But as you can see, the grout dried up cracky all the way throughout. And this one, the grout dried up just fine, but the mirror stuff. But I don't know how to clean this off. I want to savage the piece because it's so pretty. They are so pretty. But I don't know what to do to get that haze off. I have no idea and the cracks in those I'm just gonna keep I'm not gonna even worry about those cracks but if y'all know anything that I can use to try to get this off please let me know like I said I've tried awesome crud cutter any of your household products you name I've tried it so Thank you for watching. Thumbs this video up.